Hi, this is Chris Gold with Geeks On Tour, and this tutorial video is about making your own map. When you're researching places to go and places where you can stay nearby, do you use a lot of maps like we do? I use Google Maps, Our Village, All Stays, RV Parky, and Road Trippers. I want to collect my information all in one map. So in Google Maps, I have saved the club locations where we are booked to speak. We're in Chicago area right now, and here are the two places that we need to be this week. Allstays is my go-to site for finding county parks and other good overnight parking for RVs, but on this map I can't see where our gigs are. Our village is great for looking up Elks Lodges. We like parking at Elks Lodges as we travel. So my solution is to make my own map where I can put everything in. I use Google My Maps. I can make the markers custom, set the colors, and save my map. Let me show you how. Step one is to go to mymaps.google.com and make sure you are logged in with your account. If you've ever made any other maps, you will see them here. We're going to create a new map. It's good to give your map a title right away. First, I want to put in the places that we need to be. And I know that the first one is Glenside Public Library. I can search for it using Google My Maps. It will find it. And I could just add this marker to map, but I don't want to mark the Glenside Public Library. I want a marker that says the name of the computer club we'll be visiting. So I click on Add a Marker. I click right on the Public Library and then give it a name. And I save that marker. Now I can search for the next place. Naperville City Hall add my own marker and give it a name. Now I don't like that it just has this blue teardrop standard marker. I want it to stand out more. So over here in the left side panel I can click the little paint can. I can make that be I think I want it just to be a black marker and I can choose an icon from the list here. I want it to look like a meeting. I'm going to choose these three stars and OK. And I want this other one to look the same. Next I want to add the campgrounds that I found that look like possibilities. I can search for the name of the campground that I found. In this case, I can just add the Google marker. I want the website and the phone number, so I'll just click Add to Map. But now look over here on the left. That campground has been added to the same layer as our gigs, and it's really a different layer. Let me, I'll show you. Instead of Untitled, I'm going to call this layer Gigs. Now I want a new layer for places to stay. Add layer, places to stay. Now this Blackwell Family Campground really belongs in this other layer. I can drag that down. It's a little bit tricky. You've got to make sure to get a hold of it, and then you can drag it down to the other layer. And let me change that icon so it looks like a campground. We'll make it green and a tent. Now let's add an Elks Lodge. I can search for Elks Lodge 2254, which is what I found in my other map. But this is another case where I don't want to use the marker that came from Google. I don't want the details from Google. I want to put my own details. So add a marker, click here, give it a name, and I can add notes 
and even a link from the source that I got the information on this Elks Lodge. I want a custom icon for that. So I click the little paint bucket and I'm going to make this one purple and I want an icon that maybe looks like an elk. How about a deer? Close enough. Now in one glance I'm just zooming out by using my scroll wheel. In one glance I can see where we need to be, where the campground is, and where the Elks Lodge is. And now it's clear that this campground might is the closest place to go. Two more things to show you about Google My Maps. One is that you can change the underlying map, the base map. See how it, it's still kind of hard to see my markers on here because of the way this map is. If I click on base map, I can choose a lighter, simpler, base map so that my markers really stand out. The second thing to show you is why did I insist on having two layers? Well sometimes I just want to see where we need to be not about our choices of where to stay. You just uncheck the box for one layer and it disappears. Check it or uncheck it to make it appear or disappear. Very handy especially when you end up with lots of markers. And that's how you make your own map using My Maps. From now on, any map you've created will be in mymaps.google.com as long as you're logged into your account. There is the map that I just made.